else are ready to work well with Harper on the board, all of us have to watch our stuff. As you call the train, they all guys to be proud of it. They say, that guy's a car, it must be a dirty Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? Hey, hey, hey. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hi, everybody. It's really cold and really windy. So let me know if you can hear me. I'm still hoarse. So we have to conserve our voice. Let me know if you can see me, hear me. How does the picture look? Because let me know. All right, how's everybody doing? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. We are here at the beautiful Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort, or Resort Park, Park, not Resort. But <clears throat> we gotta hurry. We have a fast pass for Kilimanjaro Safari. So it looks good, okay. Just wanna make sure, cause this is the front facing. Here's the back facing. I wanna make sure you can see me and hear me. No stuttering, no anything. It's just keep me in check with all the situation here, okay? Let me know what we're doing. Make sure it looks good and sounds good. I just wanna make sure we're cooking with gas. All right, we gotta hurry. Heather's gonna meet us in a little bit. She just left her house like a few minutes ago. So she'll probably be here by the time we finish the safari. So we are doing a awesome, awesome thing today. So it's four parks, one day, Super Bowl Sunday. It is cold, it is windy. It's the wind that kills you. I had people on my row run back to their car and get jackets because they were like, nah, I'll be fine. Tuck off their coats and they came running back going, mm, not today because it's really, really windy. It's the wind that kills you. So the sun is out, it's gorgeous. It is a balmy 59 degrees at the moment. The high today will be 66. Um, it's 58, I lied, 58. <clears throat> but it's windy. It's the wind that kills you, but it's glorious. Not a cloud in the sky, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So just make sure yes oh i'm gonna get a button thank you guys so much make sure you guys are sharing the stream out if you haven't already let me know making sure we're looking good all of that good stuff just let me know because i may have to adjust settings if it looks weird or whatnot but so let me know thank you so much you guys thank you so much for everything we're gonna go through security real quick so hanging tough here um we're gonna start here today oh my word i may just actually carpool with heather i don't know peter I, I can leave my car here because if we do at least park at dhs we could take the skyliner to epcot and then from epcot we can take the monorail if anything we could take an uber back here i don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> i hate driving that's the only thing with the four parks thing okay i gotta go through security so just hang on uh, i gotta turn everything off <clears throat> hang on y'all any of these tables are back checked tables. I believe those ones are all the way down to the right side. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm sorry. I thought that was a problem. You got Isabella's bag? Thank you. Oh, oh, my word. Word. oh, hi. Hi, guys. How you doing? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> All right. Good morning. We're back. All right. That was quick. I can't move that fast right now. My hands are all frozen. Good morning. Good morning. Jumbo. We are at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. We gotta hurry because we're gonna be late for the fast pass. 
Oh, hi, puppykins. Look at the puppy. Oh, thank you so much for your super chat. Baby Yoda thanks you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your super chat, Josh. <clears throat> I'm gonna say hi to everybody here. We've got Mally Welly and Todd and Kira and Reese and Alyssa and Lance. What's up? Thank you guys so much for everything. Yes, I've gotta go get a button. Good morning. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Try again for me. Have a great day. Thank you, frozen fingers. It never works. Um, <clears throat> all right, we gotta go to Africa. Oh, it's the Gert Rock. Hey, Jack. Hey, Lance. Let me say hi. Hey, Samantha. Thank you so much. We gotta go get a button. Hey, Christine. Yeah, here we go, Niners. I know. I told Rob I'm gonna continue the tradition of not watching the game because we seem to do well if I don't watch the game. I'm at the parks with you guys and you guys give me the play-by-play. -play, so I appreciate that. Hey, Billy, how you doing? Oh, thank you so much. I told you I would. I've been in bed from Thursday till Saturday afternoon. Then I had to go to work last night. Then I was out in this weather in the cold last night. So, you know, lost my voice again. It's just an ongoing thing. And it's a virus, so there's nothing they can do, no antibiotics. I'm just trying to make sure I get enough rest and sleepy time. And I went right to bed after work yesterday because I knew we'd have to get up early and we have a big day today. So <clears throat> a lot of vitamin C, a lot of echinacea, all of that good stuff. But, you know, oh, is she out? The anteater's out today. Oh, she's so cute. Good morning, anteater. How are you? Aw, all right. Oh, let's hurry, let's hurry. I can't be late. We got a safari fast pass. So this is a four park challenge. So that means you take, you do one ride per park and a photo. So I'm adding the photo because you need a photo, we need proof. <laughs> so we got to do that in each park. <clears throat> hey, Cindy and Kurt, hey, Maddie. Trying to see, hey Nancy, how you doing? Hey Jojo, how are ya? You want all the bad foods, I hear you, I hear you girl. I wish, oops, sorry. Hi, how are you, is this your line? Oh, 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 okay, well, I do. Hi. hi, say hi to everybody. Hi. Good morning, Les. Good morning, it's good to see you. Okay. Like Thank you. You're welcome. Where would you like to see? Over that strawberry. Good. Right there? Perfect. All right, big smiles. Oh, that's gorgeous. Perfect. Okay, stay. Okay. I know you want that. Yes, I want magic. I'm celebrating 10,000 subscribers today. All right. Congrats! Alright, you're gonna point at the ground in front of you and look excited. There you go. Yes. Perfect. Good job. Okay, thank you. 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 Yes, I'm going to go get the button right now. Bring it back. I want to do a full picture with it. Yes, yes, we'll do it. I'll be right back on my way out. Perfect. Thank you, Les. All right. Yay. Picture's done. First part of the challenge over for here. We got to do this at every park. So we got our photo. Perfect. Knock it out of the way. Let's go grab a button from Island Mercantile. It's going to be a doozy of a day. Good morning. Is it possible to get a celebration button for you? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, we're all bundled up like burritos over here. <laughs> so cold. This is it. Yes. It's a lot of winter,
Okay, do you want me to you want to, you have pretty handwriting? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're celebrating 10K. Just put yep, yeah, 10K, you got it. Subscribers. Or just put subs. On YouTube. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you so much. It's with, yeah, perfect. You are awesome. Yay with the date and everything. Go Super Bowl Sunday. It's one way to remember it too. <laughs> I can't believe it's February already. I have a fast pass, Todd. Don't worry, I have a fast pass. Don't worry about 120 minute wait. I have a fast pass. Yep. So it's gonna be an hour, but that's okay, right? Yep. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do you have tape by chance? Because I can preserve your beautiful handiwork. It might be a, I mean, it's cold, but it still might be a sweaty day. I know I'll mess it up. Thank you so much. Perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Way, we got it. Kind of hard to. To read, but that way you always put tape on it. What, what? We got Billy and Lance and Mallory, Maddie, Nancy. I'm trying to catch up. Dieter, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. <clears throat> Richard, Ramon, welcome. Hey, Peta. Hey, Liddy Stars. Hey, Charlie, Peter, Aaron, Cindy, Victoria. I got the button. I got the button. Hey, Serrano. I miss you too, Joe. Hey, Andrea. <clears throat> Melissa, Lori. Corey Clemick, how are you? Hey, Samara. Thank you, Andrea. Oh, thank you so much for your super chat, Joe. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you, hey, David. Thank you, thank you so much. Hey, Crystal, doing awesome. Still getting better. Thank you so much, Joe. I wish you'd be here soon. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We're gonna be, yeah, I'll wait for Heather since she's coming. All right, we'll just be fashionably late. What else is new? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. We'd be all right. We had to take a photo. We'll go look at the tree of life. The tree of life. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your super chat, girl. You're awesome. Uh, not today. We've got a run around crazy going on. Thank you, Tanya. How you doing, girl? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so behind on the chat. Hey, Mallory. Hey, Alex. Thanks, girl. <clears throat> hey, Terrell. Hey, Jessica. David trying to catch up. All right, I think we're we're caught up here. Hang on. Hey, 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 Scott. Hey, Michaela. Happy Sunday. A song is we're still looking good. Everything looks good. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Killing it, you two girl. Killing it majorly. We got our button. Woo woo. All right. Well, she spelled YouTube with a U. That's okay. It's all good. <clears throat> we'll look at the tree of life. It's so pretty today. We got our picture already, but we'll have to take a picture again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for all your help. Couldn't do it without all of you guys and all your support. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this thumbs up all the way up as much as we can. Share this stream out. It's going to be a wild and crazy day. We are at Park One. Then we're going to Hollywood Studios, Epcot. Then we'll end at the Magic Kingdom, of course. So we've got to one ride, one picture per park. So that's kind of the... The hustle. DHS will be the hardest because that park doesn't have anything ever. Um, but I just figured it'd be smarter to switch the order just because we can take the Skyliner to Epcot from Hollywood Studio. So that'll be awesome. What are you guys doing? I love your baby Groot. She follows you all the time. I know. We missed so, it last time back in November. 
Oh, back in November. But I've seen you twice this time. Like, we were magic last time, right? I'm doing a yep. four-part challenge today. So, it's going to be fun. We're going to try waiting on Heather. I took your advice and bought her a gimbal set up as well. Oh, good. Yeah, it's good. the Take only way to do it. Yeah, the gimbal is just the easiest way to keep your, you know, your picture steady. It really is. It really, really is. I'm so... My voice is still like comes and goes. It's just a virus though. There's something you can do about it. I'm like, I'm running. Yeah. Well, while Heather is here, I'm like, okay, we'll just be fashionably late for a safari. Yeah. I think if you're like 10 minutes late, you're okay. We'll be going out to dinner somewhere and she'll pull up and says, look, here she is today. I eat. Um, I've been off for two days. I've been good and resting. Everybody's like, you need to rest, you need to rest. I'm like, I'm trying. But it just keeps coming back because everybody else is sick. So they come back to work and I'm like, don't contaminate me with your cooties. Yeah. And then I was outside working last night in the cold and it wasn't, you know, when the sun goes down, it was just so windy. I knew I wasn't going to do, it was going to exacerbate this, but I'm like, we just got to conserve it for the day. Actually, I should meet Heather at Starbucks. That's a smart idea. <laughs> We're walking towards Africa. We're walking towards Africa. But she's parking now. I didn't think it was going to be this cold this late. It's noon and it's 58 degrees, people. It's going to be a cold one today. So we just hit 10K. I'm so excited. <laughs> Got the button. We're good. We're killing it. Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm using both, Melly. So I've got some already. I only, actually, Heather's in charge of Hollywood Studios. You can't touch mine. Don't touch mine. Mine are good to go. So don't worry about mine. It'll be Heather because mine are full. Don't touch mine. Mine are set. <laughs> don't lose my mind train. <laughs> Mama's going to be mad. <laughs> so, yeah, no, um, you can't touch mine. It has to be hers. You have to try to get Heather something. Yeah, mine are full. <laughs> we got fast passes for the, the other two parks. We're good, but um, it'll have to be Heather for DHS. So if you could maybe find Heather something at Hollywood Studios, and then that'll work out pretty good for both of us since it's just two of us. That's 50%. <laughs> that'll work. That'll work. So it's awesome. Thank you so much, Alicia. Thank you, Richard. Thank you guys so much. That is so sweet of you. Yeah, we're going on the safari right now. I'm like kind of walking slow. We're hanging up with our Ohana here and Heather to get here. She's here. She's fast though. She'll catch up. <laughs> so I'm walking slowly to Africa. So it's four parks one day. So I have to take a photo and a ride in every park. So that's when like the fast passes get tricky. As soon as I swipe in for Kilimanjaro, then I can go get another fast pass for another park. That'll work out. <laughs> but we've got to get into the to the ride. <clears throat> I was gonna get Starbucks after because I won't have time. Because I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Is the line short? Let's see. <laughs> we shall see. Where are you at, Heather? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, she's going through security. Oh, she'll be here in a second. Training for a run. Oh, she's here. We won't need it then. I'm still sick, Myra. Yeah. Hanging out at Creature Comforts. I'm a Starbucks girl. I won't get anything. I'll wait till we're done. I've been here since the DVC event with Scott and Vicky. I miss you guys. Hey, Carrie. How you doing? Hey, Sim Squad. How you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. It looks like I always say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Still sick. <clears throat> it's been an ongoing thing. Living on a lot of Advil, cold, and sinus. Mm -hmm. um, taking all my vitamins, all that good stuff. My 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Heather's training for the 10K. What? What? What's new at DAC? Well, they finished the otter exhibit. Um, they're still doing the meet and greets over there at Dino Land, so that's super fun too. Oh no, Jen, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, gosh, I haven't been here since the DVC event, so. Pocahontas, I know she's here, um, but we did different characters that night too. Waiting on Heather. Where you at, girl? 
<clears throat> Rob is doing great. He's super uh, excited for tonight. He got a bunch of steaks. They're having a party over at Greg, so they've got like steaks and lots of crazy snacks. So they're having a really, they're gonna have a good Super Bowl party. He's like, you're not gonna come? I said, no, I'm, I'm gonna be streaming and it's sticking to tradi tradition where I'm at the park during Super Bowl because that's how it works. Every time they've won, I've been here. Like, you know what I mean? And you guys give me the play by play, you guys give me the score. You tell me there's a touchdown. You tell me there's a interception pass interference, whatever, or didn't complete the field goal, you guys give me the play-by-play, -play, that's how it works. We're going to stick to it because let's not mess with what works here. Thank you so much, Terrell. I appreciate it. Valentine ears. I know I'm excited. There's like merch every month, heck, every week. Tarbucks. Oh, that's so cute, Mallory. Oh, I got that from Tanya. She calls it Tarbucks, but it's so perfect. I love Tarbucks. Four weeks to Runaway Railway. I know, oh my gosh, really. Because Mar March means my birthday munch. Another year. The dance party, yes, I'm not sure. Is it still there? Oh, the Brazilian one? I don't know if that's still there. Hey Margie, how you doing? Exactly, there's some guy running down the field with a ball, exactly. <laughs> Don't don't run and fall down. Go boom, Heather. It's okay. Walk briskly. You're fine. <clears throat> we'll get Starbucks after. Still trying to figure out. I may just carpool with Heather and then Uber back here at the end of the day. That's just probably easier. Because I hate driving from park to park. <laughs> I would really like to like drive and then go to like maybe Epcot, but it doesn't matter. All the parks close around the same time. We'll see, we'll see. Did she? Hey Matt, hey Kristen, hey baby Everett. How you guys doing? Yes, it is. That's right. Heather didn't pass me, did she? Because she liked Ninja. Baby Yoda! Baby Yoda show! <clears throat> hey, Timothy! We're going to be bootsing and catsing it all day today. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Yes, yeah, so you want the Niners to win. I'm wearing my best Niner colors today, but I am wearing the red one. Just, uh, it's red and gold. That way, it's as close to Niners colors as we're going to get. The other team is the Kansas City Chiefs. And I know there's Chiefs fans out there. It'll be a good, it'll be a good game, actually. There'll be a lot of yelling in front of the television. How is that line? Mama could have got a Starbucks by now. But I didn't have time to drink it that fast, so. Nope, the line isn't long. That's okay, we'll hit up Starbucks after. Cause then I'll, I'll only have like three minutes to drink it. Oh, that's awesome, we got dance teams. Hey, dance teams. Did I miss Heather? The other, other team, yes ma'am. I'm gonna start walking towards Africa. I don't want them to yell at us, but we're already fashionably late. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh no, Africa, Africa. That's not the right park. <laughs> Yay! I love Africa. It's so pretty. <clears throat> yep, we're gonna need like a warm matcha today. I can't believe this weather is like this cold. It's fine. No. <laughs> shimmy, 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 shimmy.
Yay! Bubbles! Bubbles are the devil! No buzz, no! Well, the same. It got worse. I got it back, but I worked outside in the rain last night, and that was, like, ridiculous. It was cold. They're like, it's not that cold out here. I'm like, you stand right there in the wind tunnel. <clears throat> that hallway was like a wind tunnel. I was bundled up, but it was just cold and windy. Look at that giant baobab tree. All right, I'm going to wait for Heather right here by the fast pass stand. She's late. Oh, I am? Hang on a second. Scott, it's 22 and 12. So let me know. Is it skipping? Because I'm going to go end this stream right now and go back to what I wanted to do. Are we still, because it worked fine for Peter, so I don't understand why, is it not working? How do we look? All right, perfect. Yeah, there was a zebra. I think a zebra, zebra. Oh, that's awesome, Lance. Redwood City. Oh no, Susan, I'm so sorry. I hope you get better soon. Your husband gets better soon. Is it skipping? Is it bad? Oh, okay, okay, just making sure. No, we're at, Scott, we're at 22 and like 13. It's super high. Just want to make sure there's no hiccups. A zebra and a baby monkey? What kind of monkey? Is it like the monkey that's in here? There she is, get it girl. I'm so glad you're bundled up because we can always take layers off. We can't add layers because- Oh, is that the bag on Disney? Yeah, isn't it cute? Oh, I gotta show you my new bag. And it's perfect size. It doesn't, it doesn't force me to put 60 pounds of stuff in my stuff. Hi there, I'm a little late, but she's here. Oh, did I put the wrong, I'm, I'm just late and it took forever to get here. And I had to get a 10K button girl. Oh, cool. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, just make sure okay. that we're a little I'm closer to our time now. I tried yes. to Yes, she ran, but I'm like, you shouldn't be running either, because then they'll yell at you. It's fine. So <laughs> you guys are fine. Just make sure that we get a little bit closer to our time next time, because not a lot of attractions will let you in. Okay, I appreciate Miss Kimmy. Yeah, okay, I appreciate I it. I understand why you guys were late. I have so to go fine. get a button and a photo. Too. Yes, are you a puff too? I am a puff. Woo -hoo. There you go. Oh, yes. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Hey, the Hufflepuff are the, Hufflepuff are the nicest people ever. All right, we're good now. We're gonna make sure we're making sure we're all good. Woo, running, we made it. Cause I'm like, I like looked and there was a there was a fast pass for just the right time too. I'm like, it's perfect. So all we need is to find something for DHS. I think what I might do is I might just ride with you. Perfect. I might just Uber back at the end of the day because. Right. It's silly driving three cars back to from here to there because from from DHS because we can go to Epcot and like take the Skyliner. Yeah, I'll just leave my car at a, at a DHS. A DHS, yeah, and then we can always just like, you know, take the bus back. Yeah, we can take the bus. Or we could just Uber. Uber. Two Uber. stops. <laughs> it's fine. We'll 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 get back somehow. No running in the parks. Oh, we run all the time. It's so bad. I'm sorry. You're sick too, Kelly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's wearing her run Disney ears. Get it, girl. I figured it out. It has all four parks on it. Yeah, because it does have all four parks on it. You're right. You're right. I have it in a car, so I actually do have to go back to my car just to change ear. I got to take this off and 
Maybe I'll drive to DHS and we both leave our car at DHS because then we can Uber back in one car. Because I don't know if they'll see two stops. Okay. Because it's right here on Osceola. Isn't the entrance the same? The entrance is on Osceola, so we're good. I think we'll just leave all the cars. We'll drive from here to there. And then <clears throat> we'll Uber back from Magic later. Oh, my gosh. I kind of like it that it's warm or cold. Because at least we can, like, take layers off. <laughs> yeah. Go see some baby animals. Aw. <clears throat> hot tea. Okay, I got to order hot tea. I am glad I got the ears because I haven't seen any of the merch at, the, nope. at um, Cast Connections yet. So I don't know what they're doing with they it. They have not have the ears. But they've got to be so, I mean, there was so many, like, spirit jerseys. So Are they just holding it out, holding on, you know, holding out for a hero? Waiting till later. <laughs> I want to say because I've never done this challenge. Oh, and yeah. I've lived here like 11 years. Really? Oh, we've done it a bunch of times. And we did Disney Springs, too. Tanya and I did it the first time. We were, like, running that time. It was four parks plus Disney Springs. It was crazy. But it's not It's not bad. I already took a photo. But when he wants to do another one on the way out less, because he didn't have a line. So I'm like, ooh, perfect. Oh, take a picture, and boom. It never hurts to take too many pictures. Yeah, we can't have too many pictures. You got it, girl. You got it. Warm tea. Warm tea. Yeah, I think they are sold out. They must be. The ears, they got to be sold out. Well, I haven't been to Cast Connections in a hot minute, but they didn't have any of the merch there, except no. for the glasses. The wine glasses were the only thing there. But that's like wine glasses. Yeah. <clears throat> what did they do with all those spirit jerseys is what I want to know. So, are we going to see baby zebras today, then? Yeah, because the baby zebra was born. What's the baby zebra's name? <laughs> I think a monkey was born, too. Oh, is it the monkey that's over here, too? I think. Aww. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Mel perfect, perfect. She's looking for a fast pass for DHS. Doesn't matter. Just no star tours. Cause, yeah, no, no talk, no talk or star tours. Because she won't do talk. And I won't do Star Tours because <laughs> we will have a Code V action going on. <clears throat> Just make sure it's still looking good. It's crispy. You can hear me. Are you on Streamlabs? Yes, because I'm afraid to have like that issue that. But it was perfect yesterday. He didn't have an issue with it. He had an issue with YouTube. So I'm like, oh. But I had installed and reinstalled everything. I did all of that. But there was a Streamlabs update, like, because now you could do multi streaming on it. So they had a whole, like, big app change. So being that I'm still paying for it, at least I put it to good use. Yes. No, ma'am. Mm mm. We going? Keep going? Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, my friend Jake isn't here no more. No more Jake. He was like the best, the best driver ever. Doesn't matter the row, I just need to be on the end. <clears throat> Exactly, Christine. I hear you, girl. Oh, awesome, David. Well, here, here's hoping, you know. The game doesn't start till 6, so we're, we're good. Yeah, Rob's going to a party. They bought steaks, and he went to Costco and bought a whole bunch of stuff. Well, hopefully they win. I hope so. I, I made that Baby Yoda meme. It says, Niners, win you must. Yeah. I'm like, it'll be awesome if they do. Hey, 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 Catherine. Happy Sunday. A little chilly. It was 58. I think it's 59. It's going up. It's getting warmer. 59. 59. It's fine when it's not windy. It's just when it's windy. I'll be there too, girl. I've never missed a Super Bowl parade in the last four years, so I'll be there. Two. Can I be in the the end of the row? Doesn't matter what row it is. Six. Six. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I just need to be on the end. Yeah.
Oh, snowstorm. Oh, no. Oh, no, Rob. It'll come back. It'll be quick. I'll be there, girl. We'll be there bright and early tomorrow. Because it is Magical Monday, manana. It's magical after the Super Bowl Monday. Ooh, 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 sorry. Oops, sorry, girl. I don't want to catch her hair. My sassy new bag. Look how cute it is. And look, it's got all these, like, little gold accents. I got it on, um, isn't it cute? It's the perfect size. I got it on Shop Disney. There's a little Minnie Mouse pom-pom. So cute. Oh, here we go. Jumbo. No standing, Heather. This will be an excellent time to get out your phone, get out your camera, and put in a sports action or fast shutter suite, if any of those are available to you. Action. Because while we will see animals today, I will not be able to stop for all of them, and they will not stop for us. But we did get the final clear from the warden back there, so we're going to head straight on into the Little Aturi Forest. Yay! The eye animals here in the Little Aturi have developed some amazing camouflage techniques to try and hide from predators. Oh, cute! Okay. Okay. On it. Keep a lookout for any kind of shapes, any kind awesome. of Some. I see some stripes over there that belong to an okapi. Over there he the is. Back behind that tree here, but that is an okapi. Now the Okabe is very shy, very reclusive, very Aww. good at hiding. So much so, so it's thought to be a myth or a cryptid by the Western world until 1901. Oh dear. In fact, it was once known as Africa's unicorn. Due oh, to the unicorn? Fact that the world simply Why? They existed because they look so very unique. They're now so I see cute. some more stripy animals up ahead. These light There's brown a, on this oh, hill right in front of us. Hmm. These are greater kudu. Yeah. Now with the greater kudu, only the male kudu have horns. So it does look like those are lovely lady kudu hanging out. Lovely lady. Sort of oh yeah. He's kind of kneeling down on his ankles. And I do know he's kneeling because when he stands up tall, he is around five feet tall. Oh, there's a big now, up ahead, he hippo. Is a oh, hippo <laughs> rhino. <laughs> He's right there. Nom These nom cookie. These rhinos are absolutely massive. Able to reach uh, weight of up to 3,000 pounds. I don't know. I don't think so. And as you can imagine, something that big has very little to worry about when it comes to predators in the wild. In fact, the biggest threat to those rhinos are humans. Humans <coughs> will oftentimes poach them for the horns that they have, which are said to have medicinal properties, but that's simply not true. Lies. Those horns are made of keratin, which are the exact same things that our fingernails and hair are made of. So really, there's no reason to poach those guys, and we should leave their horns where they belong. Now, if you look over here to the left, Hi. the back of that hill there, there are some bongo laying down there. Right Bongos. Now, the bongo are also known for moving. You're chilling like a villain. Quickly through the forest. Which has earned them the nickname the ghost of the woods. They're so cute. They're just like well, we it's cold to today. We're gonna chill. Now down to the Safi River. And see what animals we can find down there by the water. Ooh. And the most famous animal that we might find by the water is the Nile hippopotamus. Mm. Gosh, it's but it's it is these hippos are nocturnal, so any hippos that we do find, if they are indeed around, are probably gonna be in the water. So look for shapes, movements only this time. Also look for bubbling. And I do see some shapes, do see some bubbling, which makes me think there may be hippos in the area. Oh, there are hippos over there. It looks like they are pretty far under the water. So I'm gonna try and find some hippos. It's probably They're warmer under the water. Easier to see. And actually, if you look there to the left. There you go. Yeah, you gotta blow a hippo. Where's Augustus? He's got to be a big boy by now. At the very top of their head, which allows them to stay mostly submerged. Aww. And only poke up their head whenever they need to take a breath. Or Is Augustus down the there with the his water. mom? And the gray animals that are oh. on the island with the hippos, those birds there. Those wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your ears. 
Pink Bat Pelicans get their name from the Can you see, girl? Can you see? Okay. I'll go this way, you go that way. Perfect. The hippos, but they also are pretty big. Oh, that works. That works. That's perfect, Mel. Nine feet across, just like the Saddleville Stork from before, which is about as wide as the canopy is above our heads. So they are pretty big, especially for birds. Hartman and Douglas. Oh, what a name. They said the zebra is Hartman and the monkey is Douglas. Aww. Named after the trainer, maybe, or the vet? We are gonna go it's so cute. We're going to find some nice Oh, they're doing the Wild Africa track. We got to do that. That'd be really cool. We'll do it. It'll be fun. <clears throat> Crocodiles, crocodile. Oh, look, he's gaping. He's doing the ah, the open mouth thing. He's going to eat you. Oh, this one too. 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 You know, it's cold. That's why they're sun tanning. Can you may have noticed how some of them are sitting down there with their mouths gaping open. See? Does anyone know why they do that? To regulate temperature. So they'll actually do that to cool themselves there you down. Go. Yeah. Those guys are ectotherms, which means they can't regulate their body temperature internally like you or I can. Instead, they have to do things that affect their temperature, like getting out in the sun, getting back in the water, or opening those jaws real wide to let hot air out and cool air in. <clears throat> in just a moment, we're going to be heading into the savanna, and as we go, you might begin to notice that things look just a little bit different than they do in the forest. I know. The Are these manual? And lush. The savanna is more open we're just heavy. Really shaped by the millions of migratory animals that go across it every day. Is there a giraffic jam? And I do see a peak of some migratory animals off there in the <laughs> distance. And don't worry. I'm going to talk about absolutely all of them, but I do want to make sure that we get even closer before we do. <laughs> all right, so if you see right. your favorite animal down there walking around and I haven't touched on it yet, don't worry. You can still see I me and hear me good, just quick. making sure picture we looks good. Make sure that we get even closer. <clears throat> Now, I did hear some reports that there were some giraffe in the road further giraffe on yes. down the road. And as you can imagine, when there's a giraffe in the road, we can't not move through the road until those giraffe are out of the road. Mm -hmm. So we will be holding here for just a moment before starting to go poly poly through the reserve, which is Swahili for very slowly. <laughs> Is it Jabari? Chillin'. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of wish we could scoot up a little bit. <laughs> to see all those animals down there. I know. I want to see the baby giraffes. But as we are sitting here, I guess it is a good time to ask if anyone has any questions so far. Comments. Concerns. I'm not allowed to ask for emotional outburst anymore. <laughs> If you do think of a question, please feel free to ask, or if you don't want to ask in front of the whole truck, you can come up after I let you guys off at the end of the safari up to my front row and ask me, and I'll be more than happy to answer anything I might. It's perfect today. Thank you guys so much. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you. Make sure you guys are subscribed and give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. But as I'm trying to stall for <coughs> some time as we enter, if you look over here to the right, it is one of my favorite trees in the whole reserve. Does anyone know what this tree is called? A baobab tree. So this is a baobab tree, also known as an upside down tree or a tree of life. Now the baobab trees do remain leafless for around nine months out of the entire year, leafless. but they're also called the tree of life because awesome. they store water Perfect. in their trunks much like their cousins the cacti Yay. and other succulents do. In fact, thirsty elephants know if they are in desperate need of water, they can come along, poke holes in the bark using their tusk, oh. and get out the water inside. So if you notice any it's scarring like on the baobab tree, any of the baobab trees that we're gonna pass throughout the reserve, it's very possible that the scars may have been made by a thirsty elephant. 
It's like a giant Capri Sun. A giant Capri Sun. <laughs> Put a hole in it. Yeah. For a moment longer. I don't want to get too close to the truck in front of us. We don't need to join their safari. <laughs> we are on our own. It's pretty exciting up ahead. It looks like we're going to get a couple of close looks. Oh, I'm so excited. And actually, the area that we're in right now is called Savannah Overlook. Sundays at the Savannah. Savannah. There you go. At the Savannah. Actually, right as we enter Savannah Ooh. proper here. We haven't had that in a hot... Oh, zebra! Zebra! Is that the baby? No babies? Oh. Looks like three of them, actually. Oh, my goodness. Now, the Hartman's Mountain Zebra is a really neat zebra. There's a couple of ways that you can tell it is a Hartman. So they're the only species of zebra that has a dewlap under their neck, which is an extra fold of skin that helps kind of release heat, keep them cool. They also have thick stripes going down their spine towards their hindquarters. And then they have really teeny, tiny hooves, which teeny helps when they're tiny. climbing up hills or, as the name suggests, mountains. Oh. Now, the neat thing about those zebra is that the zebra stripes are unique to each individual zebra. Hmm. And fact, oh. baby elephant or but zebra <laughs> will memorize their mother's stripes and only oh. drink from Dazzle, as a group of zebra is called. They're dazzle. Now, if you look I like it. Hair, you'll see two cows with really Aww. big horns over there. Those so, cows are in and coli cows. Yeah. And coli oh. is a domesticated animal here on the reserve, also called what to see cattle after the people that first domesticated them. And those impressive horns over there can actually grow up to eight feet in length. Well, you might think the horns aren't heavy. They're only about 10 pounds each, which would be, before those cows, it's almost nothing. In fact, they use those horns to cool themselves off by stepping through the horns with the body, exposing it to air, and that helps let off the excess body heat. So they're a really neat adaptation that those cows have. It's trying to stay cool somewhere that gets so incredibly hot. Does sound like one of the giraffe have gotten out of the road. Well, it seems like there are a couple more still passing on by there. Where are they at? Oh, way right there. That's really exciting. We should be able to get really good looks at those giraffe. And someone pointed out there's a giraffe way off in the distance there to the right that was eating, which does kind of remind me of some giraffe trivia. Okay. Who knows what color a giraffe's tongue is? It is a really dark color. Do you know why it is? Um, so you don't get sunburned. So it's not dark coloration because they spend so much time eating. They need the dark color to help keep their tongue from getting sunburned. In fact, they can spend more time eating than they do sleeping on average a day, which isn't too hard for a giraffe considering that they only sleep on average around 30 minutes a day. Wow. And they don't even sleep that 30 minutes all at the same time. They'll take short naps throughout the day and they'll take those naps while standing up. So if you've ever seen a zebra suddenly seem to zone out for a minute or two, <laughs> stops walking, isn't eating, it's just kind of standing there. He's it's very thing. possible you may have witnessed a giraffe taking <clears throat> a nap. Sleepy night. I mean, known to take naps in front of trucks. So oh, that's nice. That's pretty fun. Oh, well, I got sleepy puppies. We are going to get a closer look at these Ancoli that are moving around here. But there also is a pile of rocks over here to the left that I think would make an excellent den for some animals. And I do see some animals inside the den. Looks like I mean, they are African wild dogs African in there. Wild dogs, yeah. They sleep. They all kind of all cuddle together. Cuddles. Now those African wild dogs are Puppies. also called African painted dogs due to the beautiful spots oh, they have gorgeous. on their They're gorgeous. Those spots are unique and vary from individual dog to individual dog. And while they may look very cute and cuddly, all kind of curl together like that, they are in fact one of Africa's most successful predators. They are even far more successful at hunting than even the big cats are. Well, look at that. Now, if you keep your eyes over to the left, there are a couple of sable ants. On that sign was a sable antelope. Yep, those are a couple of termite mounds that we're passing. The weird looking mounds you see here. Now these termite mounds can actually reach up to 20 feet tall and grow as hard as concrete underneath the hot African sun. And once 
when they Chair get that tall, lounge. then larger animals like the elephants and giraffe will actually come along and use <clears> them as scratching posts. Ew. And when that scratching Scratch knocks them down the or wears them down, then the smaller animals like the antelope will actually hop on top of them and use them as lookout oh, points for Oh, we got a bad giraffe jam. It's really neat to think that something as small as a termite can create something as big as a termite mound that is used by so many animals here on the savanna. In fact, all the animals here on the savanna do play a part in making the savanna look as unique as it does. For example, taking a look at the trees around us, you might notice that the branches and even the vegetation hanging from the branches doesn't go below a certain height. <laughs> Can anyone guess why that is? Because the giraffes ate them all. Yeah, so that's about the height that the tallest giraffe can reach to. Giraffe will actually help to landscape the savanna out here. They'll reach up, they'll pull down low-hanging vegetation, low-hanging branches, and they really do encourage the trees to grow like they do. In fact, all the animals here on the savanna do play a part in landscaping it. The giraffe will pull down the low-hanging vegetation, the small animals like the antelope will nibble on the short grasses and the bushes, and then bigger animals like elephants will actually come along, pull down trees, knock them over. They really do play a part in making it look as unique as it does. It does sound like there's a whole tower of giraffe right around this bin that are going back and forth across the road. Oh, they're so having fun. They're doing what giraffe do. <laughs> Crossing the road. <laughs> what is it, we are going to creep on forward and we will get a close look at the giraffe. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You can see him poking up above the bushes. Oh, he's so cute. And we'll get another look at the zebra. Hey, Ruby. We probably just recently How started are seeing ya? zebra again on the reserve. So oh. these guys are pretty new, and it's always really look exciting to see them cute. out there. But I'm not going to talk about the giraffe just yet. I do want to bring your attention to the small brown, black, and white antelope there to the right on top of the hill. Mm. They look a little bit like s'mores over there. S'mores. But those are springbok. And springbok are actually the springbok. national animal of South Africa. A lot of sports teams have them as their mascots due to their high athletic abilities. Those little springbok over there can reach up to 60 miles per hour when they run, as well as leap up in the air 6 feet high and 13 feet forward. And the gray animals that are by the springbok, those are, of course, the wildebeest. It's a pretty small herd of wildebeest, considering they can have some of the largest migratory herds in the world. But those migratory herds able to number up to 1.5 million individuals. And yeah, this is an adult giraffe walking by the road here. Adult giraffe are the tallest land mammals in the world, able to reach heights of around 17 to 19 feet tall, sometimes even taller. And to put this into a little bit of perspective, we are about six feet off the ground and this giraffe will still tower over the oh very top of our canopy. Now I'm not going to hang oh. around this giraffe for oh, too much wow. longer. It does seem like it wants to try and cross or stick its head inside. Oh yeah. Neither options are very good options. <laughs> but if you keep looking here to the oh, right, oh, the ground he wants to get in. He's following he us. We're being stalked by a zebra. Over there. Or like by a zebra baby bunch giraffe as well up here to the left oh. but those are a couple of babies here in the tower the baby giraffe are around six feet tall when they are born and giraffe mothers give birth standing up so those six foot tall babies have a six foot tall drop as their first introduction oh. to the world there's oh. a baby on either side here oh my gosh but don't worry the drop is beneficial to those babies as it's a shock of that impact that lets their systems know that they need to start breathing on their own. Oh, look at the but babies! So many babies. Oh. But I am starting to see signs now that maybe even larger animals have been moving through. Oh my gosh. In fact, if you move on either side of the road up ahead, there are trees that have been knocked down, which is usually a really good indication that elephants have been moving through. Which makes sense considering we are entering elephant so country and I do see a I pair see of it. elephants up ahead. <coughs> so there's one down by the watering hole. There's also one up on the top of the hill. But those are elephants and those are actually African elephants. You can tell by looking at the shape of their ears. 
Here's a look at the continent of Africa, which for me at least is the easiest way to tell between an African elephant and an Asian elephant. Well, and if you look there to the left, there are some mandrel monkeys underneath that tree or those trees there. Now those mandrels are the largest species of monkey in the world, and yes, they are a monkey. They do have a tail, only around three inches, is but it's still the a baby? tail. They're also incredibly shy, so it's really rare to see them, especially as close to the road as we did. Cute. But I do want to see if we can find even more elephants. No, looks like the road we normally take is closed. It seems like it got washed away in some rain. But that's okay, we're still gonna get a really close look at that elephant over there to the right we go on by and actually the route that we're on will take us to where we want to go still which is straight into the heart of elephant country unfortunately will also take us over the oldest bridge in the whole reserve but as long as we all think the light thoughts we should be just fine <coughs> the truck in front of us made it okay but i am going to wait for that truck to clear on out of the way before i'm taking my way forward just in case Oh. I always forget, are you supposed to go slow on things that could break or fast? Fast. fast. No, slow. Slow. I got it as well, so no problems here. I thought I was even really worried. Whoa. But going back to elephants, I am starting to see signs now that maybe more elephants have been moving through. And these red clay pit walls, there are actually tough signs. <laughs> Now elephants love these red clay pits, so they'll use their tusks to scrape off the clay and then eat it for the nutrients and minerals that they need in their diets. And I do see a couple elephants over here to the left. Looks like they're in the clearing by that baobab tree. And as they are by the baobab tree, I do know a really good spot for us to get a more unobstructed view. <coughs> so don't worry, I will stop for these elephants. I am just going to take us up a little bit further first. separate into two different kinds of herds depending on what gender they are. So female elephants and their offspring will hang out in larger herds called matriarchal herds which are led by the oldest female oh. elephant also known as the matriarch. As she is the oldest she knows all the best places to find food, water, and places to avoid. The male elephants will tend to be more solitary than the females They'll hang out by themselves or in loose groups called bachelor herds. Bachelor herds. Oh, the bachelor oh, elephant like version. Oh, the flamboyance of Greater Flamingo How was also it? decided Two to elephants. make their home here in elephant country. <laughs> flamingo! Now, these How Greater Flamingo, flamingo are there? the largest species of flamingo, as well as the lightest pink in coloration. But they don't start out that pink color. Does anyone know where they get it from? Shrimps. Yeah, they get it from all the brine shrimp that they eat. Those brine shrimp are full of beta carotene, and it's that beta carotene that turns their feathers a really beautiful pink color. Now look at the island the flamingos are on. Shrimp are delicious. It's your Mickey. Yep, Let's you're hitting Mickey. A little bit familiar, doesn't it? But we are gonna head on deeper into the reserve once more. Leave the elephants and the flamingos on behind. Let's see what else we can find out here. We have reached an area where sometimes we'll see animals when it's really, really hot during the day. See that there to the left is a mud wallow, and as you can imagine, animals will come along to the mud wallow to roll around in it. They'll coat their skin in mud, helps keep them cool, protect them from the hot African sun, and also provide just a little bit more protection from biting and stinging insects. And don't worry, we'll see those animals there in just a moment. But we are entering into Ooh. big cat territory. As oh, yeah. their name flies here, be big cats. In fact, I do see a cheetah over oh, here to the left. It's going to be a little bit hard to see, but it's laying down. kind of looks like a log over there. It's in that left corner of that clearing, but that oh, is yeah. a cheetah. Here it is. Head kind of torn 
turned away from us. I think so. Right there. And then after the last one. Yeah. Now keep your eyes open. Right. We might get to see a couple yeah. more as we move yeah. over here. I don't see them. But while the chicken may not seem like it while they're laying down, they are actually the fastest land mammals in the world. Able to reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour in 30 seconds flat. Although they can reach those speeds, they can't really maintain them. They are more sprinters than long distance runners. They are also diurnal hunters, which means they will hunt primarily during the day, which lessens the chance of competition with bigger, more nocturnal hunters. Speaking of bigger, more nocturnal hunters, we may get a chance to see some today because these are the Kopi rocks. So can anyone guess what animals we sometimes see on the Kopis? Lions. Yeah, we sometimes see lions here on these Kopis. Oh, they sleep in Lions are kind of like our domestic cats. Cats, they like to be <coughs> up high. Now, these Kopi rocks are some of the highest points on the whole reserve. Well, like I said, they are nocturnal animals, so if they are up there, there's a very good chance that they are laying down. But as we're looking for lions, on up ahead here to the right, there is a white rhino over there. A white rhino. It's like even a couple of white rhinos, maybe a whole crash of white rhinos over there. Reserve. They actually can reach weights of up to 5,000 pounds. <laughs> As you may notice over there, they don't exactly look white in coloration. My visitors heard them referred to as white rhinos. They thought they were calling them white rhinos, and so the name just sort of stuck. Mm. Back the width of their lips is one of the ways you can tell a black rhino from a white rhino. Black rhinos have really thin, pointed no. lips used to pull leaves off the branches, while the white rhinos have the large, mm. wide lips that they use to graze on the savanna grasses. No lions. So sad. There are a couple of burrows on a bed, which sometimes we see animal activity in and around. So you take a peek over there, see if you see anything in there. Puma. Are rooting around. Puma. Are you there? If not, that's okay. We're still gonna get a really kind of close look at these rhinos from before coming. And it looks like those rhinos are by a nest of ostrich eggs. Oh. And those ostrich eggs probably belong to the female ostrich that are up ahead here also to the right. Now these are female ostrich. The males will tend to be a black and afraid of our rangers over there. They oftentimes like to follow them around. But those ostrich are pretty big. They're the largest bird species in the world, able to reach heights of up to seven feet tall. And despite not being able to fly, they're still able to go pretty fast. In fact, they can run up to speeds up to 45 miles per hour, which I don't know about you, but that's a lot faster than I can run. This area that we're in now is Magadi Glen, which is going to be the final area of our reserve today. Now this area is called Magadi due to all of the hot springs you'll see bubbling up through here. In fact, the word Magadi means hot spring in Swahili. And as there are hot springs, it usually attracts some more desert-loving animals. And actually, if you look down the pathway there, all the way down at the bottom of the path there to the right, there is a small glimpse of a scimitar horned orc. It's a white brown wow. animal. If you want a more clear look at what he looks like, there is a picture up on the animal slotting guide. But they are pretty amazing animals. They can actually go up to nine months without needing a drink of water. As a quick, they do not sweat until their internal body temperature reaches 115 degrees. Mm, also, they get most of the water that they need from the vegetation that they eat. They just don't need to drink it like we do. But with that, those gates do mark the conclusion of our safari. We got to see some amazing animals today, some amazing sights. As time goes on, animals and sights like that are in danger of being lost forever, as more and more species face threats such as habitat loss, poaching, or even extinction. It's not all bad news though. There are people and organizations like Disney all around the world that are banding together to try and conserve these species. Or you are able to look at pictures taken by trail cameras placed all throughout Africa. 
and researchers use those pictures to determine population densities and abundance of the animals in that area. And we can help out with that research too by going through the pictures and doing something as simple as saying yes there is an animal in this photo or no there is not. Again, that's snapshotsafari.org. Really neat website to get involved in if you've ever been in, interested in conservation work. That'd be cool. Or if you just really want to look at snapshotsafari.org. Now this is the warden's post, which is where I'll be letting you guys off just as soon as the trucks in front of us unload their guests first. But as we are hanging out here, if there are any wilderness explorers on board, you guys have Sometimes see out there in the number one, like the number one. And if you guys want to see more animals and you haven't already, then I highly recommend you check out the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. In fact, the Faro will put you right at the entrance of the Exploration Trail. And then you may see some animals we didn't necessarily get to see while here on Safari today. Sometimes they do see things like more zebra, meerkats, naked mole rats, and as the name implies, naked mole rats. Sometimes gorillas. Put your clothes on. That trail does close at five o'clock today, so make sure you visit before five. Now the warden is calling us in, which means it is time for us to part ways. But here in Harambe, we do not like to say goodbye. Much too sad, much oh well. So go on, reading, my friends. Go well, go wild, and go make a difference. And go enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom or wherever you're traveling. All right. Quaharini. <coughs> Quaharini, you guys have a great day. Awesome. Thank you very much for riding with me and being so patient through that giraffe side. All right. Now we get a. Paul Biscuits, we'll get caught up, and we're off to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yay! Yay. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll to get a picture by the tree. We'll do it by Les. Les said he'll do some magic shots. The guy up the hill has a magic shot. The one, the one up the hill when you first come in. Yes, Les. <laughs> yeah, we want him. <clears throat> we like the magic shots. And it's still kicking me out though. I mean, Peter didn't have that problem yesterday, right? It didn't kick him out at all. Oh. <laughs> once, okay. It's only done it once. Oh, I'm so glad, Ruby. Yeah, we gotta go this way. We gotta get caught up with our fast passes so we don't fall behind. Sorry, I'm so sorry. And yeah. It's only kicked me out once so far. If it does it one more time, then we'll scrap it. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. But at least it looks clear and it sounds good. But I think there's a definite picture difference though between the two. Sorry, baby girl. <clears throat> as long as it still looks good, y'all. Is it clear? Okay, Ruby says the picture is clear. All right. Well, they redid the whole app because you could do multi-streaming on it now. Oh. So they, they, it was a big update. So oh. it's not just some little I fix some bugs thing. I prefer it if it would work because it holds the stream. You know, I don't have to worry about... And the copyright thing. And the copyright thing is a big thing. That's the reason why it's the largest streaming platform, actually. I was, like, watching a thing today saying that most everybody uses Streamlabs just because it holds it. And that's what you got to worry about. <laughs> you know, like, so you could do other things. Like, I could keep my notifications on and I can see messages and stuff. It is getting crowded now. Well, the game is until like 536, so people can go to the parks. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be emptier tonight. Yeah, tonight it'll be emptier because, yeah, they got to go find a TV. I had a lot of guests asking me, where can we find a TV? I'm like, where? Where are you staying? Are you talking boardwalk or here? Splitsville is going to be packed tonight. Too bad the new restaurant didn't open in time. Because they're gonna try to open for March Madness, at least like City Works, or the yeah they're they're gonna try to, but they couldn't open in time for Super Bowl, 
just like any new building, um, they were having problems with them, um, you know, getting your building uh, codes and stuff like that. Like they have the their construction isn't done and getting it all approved and all of that stuff, inspections. So they're kind of behind. <clears throat> Sorry. Baby stormtrooper, oh my gosh. We're leaving Africa. And we're leaving, we're going off world actually. Actually, I think we're going to Andy's backyard. I think Mel, Mel found us uh, alien swirling saucers. Thank you, Melly. All right. That's right. Get it, Ruby. Is this line short? Because then we get one here and we'll just take it in. Because that one is always long. Depends, you know, Hollywood Studios. I have to drink hot stuff today. Is the line? Oh no, there's no. It's not long, it's not long. You want a hot matcha girl? We'll do hot today. Everything you need hot tea, you need hot tea. I need a hot matcha first. Ooh, that looks good though. Hi, how are ya? I will do a venti hot uh, matcha green tea latte with only one scoop. Only one scoop? Uh huh, breve. What was that? Uh, one scoop breve, eight splenda. Eight splenda? And then whatever she wants. Same thing. Okay. She wants a venti as well. Venti. Two scoops. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it will be a venti. Same thing as hers. Two but I want two scoops and I want the common one. And you want the water? Hot. Hot. I know. We're being like, ooh, hot stuff today. <laughs> Did you want any spun in yours? No, thank you. And your name? Jen. Jen? Jen. Yes, ma'am. Are you doing Apple Pay? Uh, Starbucks. <laughs> Awesome. I know where Lodi is. I bet you Lance knows where Lodi is. It's gonna be good, girl. What is that? A gimbal. A gimbal? A gimbal? It keeps it steady. Yeah, normally it's like a stick. Yeah, but I upgraded. This is more like the movie version. Like movie ones are actually a cage. Yeah. Yeah. Why, That's why it's like so weak. I like it. It's 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 more petite. <clears throat> I think the hot will help. Let me go grab my keys. And then we'll park at DHS and then we'll Uber back. Yay. We got this. We got this. Because from DHS we can get to Magic easy. We need a crazy Uber driver, Scott. Too bad Scott isn't here. Otherwise we have a crazy Uber driver. It's very roomy in here, see? It's it's very, very roomy. Oh look what I got. 
sanitizer. It's for your AirPods. Oh, it's your I thought it was hand sanitizer. But it's so cute. That is so cute. I love it. But it was, this bag is way cheaper than a lounge fly. It was 50 bucks. But it's cheaper than... It's good size. And it's good size. It's got the little... That and I got the mini. I should have gotten the black pom pom. I think the black one will look better. Oh, you could choose your pom pom. Yeah, you could buy. Actually, this is the one that came, came free with this one with the pin. I bought the other bag charms. They're called bag charms, but you could put pins on it. Yeah. They have holes, that's and that's how they had it on the catalog, and that's why I'm like. Yeah, if you're like a pin trader. It's perfect. I could put pins on it, so I broke out. Hercules. So what shop she did? Like just the red with red or black. Okay. And then you could do. I should have got the black pom pom. I think it would look more. It would stand out more. But it's cute and it's a perfect size. It's like just right. And then it has like the little name. Because I've only seen the black, but it's still it's on shop business. It's on shop business. Yeah. It hurts. So. Yeah. Might as well. And it has like the nice detail and everything. Oh, I was getting my. Keys and straw, but they did such a good job. Oh, you got the same one? Awesome, Kelly. Yeah, I've seen it in black. I've never seen anybody carry the red. But I'm like, red is perfect because it's like the color of confidence. Yeah, I like this one. I like them. This was the charm, and they had a Ursula. No, they had a Maleficent charm on the catalog that they showed with it. But you have all these little places to put the charms on. But, I like it because it's a good size. Oh, I got my straw in here. It's got a nice, nice pocket. It's just a good size. Getting warm. I can get rid of this jacket now. I think. Yes. Is that one? It's Glenda. That one's mine. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> one part down, one more to go, or three more to go. <laughs> Not one, three, three. I know, a saltwater swish, I'm trying. <clears throat> I sound worse than I feel, honestly. Hot matcha. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, I'm glad the water is not cold. I'm gonna drink some water. All that Advil cold and sinus is drying me out. That was good. I'll do one more cup. All this caffeine is drying me out. I do, I do love it. How you doing, Paul? Hope you're having a beautiful day. We are gonna do this challenge right. It's a great way to celebrate 10K. And Heather's. Oh, that one's yours. I see yours. Yeah, I'm like, so it's the same thing. Oh, that's the baby Yoda. That's the baby Yoda. Yeah. It's the baby Yoda frap. Oh. It just has caramel. I bet you it's good. But you can't have caramel because it has dairy, right? Okay, dang it. Bye, Bye, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, it was good, right? Uh, I bet you it's matcha. What's not to love? We just have straight baby Yoda. Just green matcha. That's it. But because the fraps have so much more sugar. The frap, like the syrup for the frap is so sweet. Yep, yeah, there you go, girl. You got to get your, you got to do your Starbucks. Here, we'll do one together. Yeah. Or like we gotta do our Starbucks selfie. Yeah, we do one by the wall, by the uh, 
the Lion King wall over there, or that little Hakuna Matata thing. Because it's Disney and Starbucks, you know, it's it's important. <laughs> it tastes delicious. It's good. Mmm. Matcha is just, oh, I told you I found the sugar-free matcha, right? Target oh, had it Target. in the tea section. It's $10 That's and it's 15 servings. All you need is one teaspoon, wow. like a teaspoon. Oh, I put yeah. two teaspoons. You it was so it green. Home. Yeah, you can make it home and it's, you could, and it's, yeah, and it's cheaper and you, and it tastes good. It tastes really good. It was called Jade, Jade something, but it was also rated the highest on Amazon as far as taste. So it was, it was Jade something. It's in a packet and there's two of them. You don't want the matcha green tea latte mix that has sugar. You want the other one that's just pure matcha. It's $9 at, um, a Target. <clears throat> and actually I could bring it because it's like a packet, like a Ziploc. Like a, yeah, like a little, like chips or something. No, oh, there is a photo pass guy right here. We could do that one. That one's quick. You want to do this one? Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, let's do the guy in the front. I just like the I do too. Plus, it's in the sun. You want to be in the sun. Oh, birds, birds. Oh, they're doing their little birds in flight. Just don't poop on me. Oh. <laughs> All right, Les is up the hill. Oh, there's babies. More babies. Oh. So a lot of them have babies in the winter time. Yeah. All right, is our buddy Les still up there? Where'd he go? He said to come back. Oh yeah, there he is. Is that him? He said we'll do something with he has a magic shot and he has the and he said he had a like he said he'll Oh no that's not Les, this lady. Where did Les go? But that's okay, we'll just use her. <laughs> Maybe he's on break. You gotta take a break. Make it able to make it to the first car. Yeah. You made it, girl. You made it. All right. We'll do one more picture. It's one ride, one picture. Oh my gosh, Kristen Jonas. Kristen's like, maybe your Uber driver will be Robert from 90 Day Fiance. Can you imagine? I would die. I love him. Where's Annie? Did you get her? I mean, you, you, could, you could have taken her to TJ Maxx. Didn't have to take her to the used clothes store. Cheap yes, 10K clearance. challenge. Mr. Peter will show up later. He's sleeping night night. He's running errands. Peter will be here later. <laughs> Heather's the only one who doesn't need sleep, like I do. <laughs> she, she, well, you're up late. You're up till 4 a.m. Yeah, I remember. I woke up at 10 and I'm like, oh, I wonder if Jen went live yet. No, nope. because I, like, I had to change my bag, put my pins in. I said, uh -uh, I'm using this. It came in. I'm like, ooh, thank you, UPS she's, man. I was so, like, she's not live yet. I was like, I well, I didn't know it had come in. So I was like, ooh, let me unpack it. I want to use it today because I'm a two-year-old. So I guess it came last night. And I didn't see the package till this morning. I'm like, wait, I got to take everything out and do up the bag. And so. <clears throat> by Starbucks. Yes, we are powered by Starbucks. Yes. Happy birthday. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, free coffee. I'm like, coffee's. Happy birthday. You got a meal prep, Cheryl? You got to do your meal prep, girl. He'll be meeting us later, I promise. Alrighty. 
Should I tip the button on? Is that what I need to do? The button? Oh, take it off, right? So I can hold it, yeah. Hello, how are we doing? Hello, good. Les told me to come back because I told him we were celebrating 10K today. He's like, we could do something fancy with it. Ooh. So now it's the banner's turn. <laughs> I know you can do something fancy with it. All right, can you see that? Yeah, you did it. I said, if they don't already know, we're living our best extra life. I said, if you've not met us before, it's just a little, but it's fun. <laughs> you need some Starbucks. Get it, Joyce. Matcha. Matcha calls you. But Target has, I think it's Jade Leaf or Jade something company, but it's in a packet. Don't get the matcha green tea latte. It has like, I don't know, 41 grams of sugar or something crazy because there's sugar in it. You just want the matcha powder there's two of them they're they're next to each other but it's in the aisle where the tea is <laughs> so it's easy but I made it at home and it was really good I put two teaspoons and one should have been enough it's very potent like it was green <laughs> it was so green and it doesn't have the added sugar so you could just add whatever sweetener you want That's what's nice. yeah you, yeah you don't need yeah, and I, yeah, you don't need all that sugar, sugar anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you buy Starbucks, anything branded is definitely more expensive because it's Starbucks, yeah. <laughs> like at the store, like she said, Mallory said she tried to buy the hot Starbucks hot cocoa. I said, oh, oh no, don't yeah. do that, yeah. It's going to be more expensive. Than <clears throat> Are you in average. Peacock? I'm in. I think I might be in Peacock. Yeah, you're right behind me, so you're like a I couple rows. I just ran. I'm sure you're in Peacock, yeah. You're on this ran. side, right? Yeah. The left, yeah. Oh, 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 oh no. she trips. Yeah, I'm on the left, so. <laughs> yep, we can walk, which is easy. Oh, which way out? That way. That works. All right, off to studios. And then from there, we don't, we'll leave the cars there. Because... DHA, it's kind of far here. At least if we're in Hollywood Studios, it's more central to where everybody needs to go at the end of the night. Yeah, we get to do it. That's a bonus ride, like Mel said. It'll be a bonus ride. We and we have to take the monorail from Epcot to Magic Kingdom. So we. It's gonna be another bon bonus ride. <clears throat> See, my voice comes back when I drink something hot. Yes, because it's good for it's good for. <clears throat> you sound a lot better than like. Yeah, I did before. Oh my darling. It was just I was in that s silly, silly, silly cold last night, of <laughs> shivering in the oh. cold. It was busy. Don't get me wrong. I sold twelve hundred dollars out there. Wow. Just my little tiny little bar. Wow. That's 
That's yep, a that's a lot for Portobar. It's an easy sell. <laughs> People are warm. They're like, I need, I need four shots of Jameson. I'm like, okay. Or they just buy the like, you know, the sweet tea shine, the strawberry lemonade, and that's all they want. Yeah, it looks like a new bus stop. Oh, okay, that's what's gonna be. Or is it gonna be for the tram? Oh yeah. Oh maybe, cause it's so, so far away roof. right now. They didn't have a roof in the past. That's right? true. For our inclement weather. All right, I can get rid of this hat. I can put my ears on. <clears throat> yeah, the high is 66 today. So we just got to keep our coats with us because they'll be cold later again when the sun goes down. Yeah, it's better to... Oh, and this has the handles. I can put my coat on the handles, if anything. Like, I can clip it on there. Very slightly. I'll make it work. I'll squish it in there. Oh, see, I told you, Emery, Starbucks. Thank you guys for all your super chats. Starbucks really makes it help. The minute I drink something hot, my voice comes back. Yes. It's just because it's cold. Yes, caffeine is your friend. Why well, I'm living on... Advil cold and sinus, which already has caffeine in it or oh. whatever. Oh, so really? I'm like, I didn't realize it had <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I just like take it like every four to six hours, no more than six per day. So, there is not a cloud in the sky. It is B B E A U to full day today. Hey, Philip, how you doing? Hey, Philip. Trying to squint. Hey, Denise. I need to go to where? Oh, I'm from Miami. I've been to South Beach. I grew up in Miami. <laughs> I know South Beach really well. I told you, I went, you mean his old vlog when he tried to stream there? Oh, it's a snake. No, it's real. It's Heather scared. No touchy. Look at that little buddy right there. Do you see it? Florida wildlife at its finest. It's a, oh, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. I'm not touching it. I don't speak parcel tongue. Nope. See ya. Yeah, 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 or hairy. Or hairy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't speak parcel tongue. I do know how to open the chamber of secrets because we know that line, but that's about it. <laughs> and then how do you properly pronounce parcel tongue? What if you're saying it wrong? Then the basilisk will eat you. <laughs> Secrets is open. It is open, All yep. The enemies of the air, beware. I thought it was like the main thing. Beware, the beware. Yes, the air, the enemies of the air, beware. They always have a like a Harry Potter marathon, which is awesome. Okay. I know, I love that. I'm hot. Like this thing holds so much heat, like heat coming off of this hat. <clears throat> it's hot, we're cold, it's hot. It's yeah. Cold. I'm just gonna put my ears on. I can probably put this in my bag though, so I don't get cold later. Yeah, I packed mine. You packed yours? Yeah, I'll just put it in my bag. Hong Kong. It's not far, because we're just, it's also on, the entrance is on Osceola, so it makes it easy. Yeah, I'm in like Peacock 13, so you must be like a couple rows behind me. And of course, I'm on the uh, yeah, I'm on that end too, because I took the tram. I was closer to oh, the tram. You want to like, be all the way down? Yeah, the one time you're at the end, they don't put you in the end. Usually I'm at the very, I'm like, yeah, sure, because it's faster. But I'm on the tram side too. Honk. I'm sorry. 
But if you don't look, I've gotten lost in this parking lot before. I'm like, I don't remember because it's so big. It's so big. I'm like, wait a minute. And I get confused. Yeah, I was at Peacock 13. So you must be in like 14 or 15. You got to be just a couple of rows behind me. Yeah. I remember because it was right near the end where this handwriting thing is. All this walking gets you warm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I've got cold, cold brew in the car though, so we'll alternate. Because you can never have too much. And I got the, uh, oh, what did I get? I got it from Target too. Because Rob didn't, like, we didn't go to Costco. He went yesterday, but I was out before yesterday. So I had to go buy more cold brew. I bought the Califia one and then the stock, S D O K. So I bought that one. They have like a dark, dark, unsweetened dark one. So that's the one I got. Okay, eight. What is this one? Thirteen. Okay, so I'm at the end of this row. You gotta be a couple rows down. We'll just walk. Yeah, we're way in the end. I'm at the. Yep. Wow, truly not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Trying to read the chat. I'm feeling better. Yes, I'm feeling better. I don't feel as bad as I sound. <laughs> oh, bad parking job. Is that why nobody parked next to him? Nobody. Oh, I hate when that happens. Because the like then it throws off the whole alignment. Well, and they have the parking attendant here in the morning. Like, she's here, like, you know, telling you to come forward and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, they're usually pretty helpful with that. They're yep. Like, Move up. Please. Alrighty. Wisconsin. Yeah, they don't make those anymore. What? The antenna toppers. I have noticed cars don't really have that anymore. Yeah, they, they used to have... Like, because I know Amber wanted one, but we couldn't find one because they don't make them anymore. <laughs> they don't sell them anymore. I think they stopped making them a couple of years ago. Yeah, they did. All right, I think I'm one. I'm here, but I'm in the back. Like, uh, I'm the second I'm, car. You're probably further down a probably, row or two. Okay, All right, I'll see you All right, girl. Oh, am I like literally the last car? Literally. <laughs> I knew it was on the end and not in a good way. Oh wait, that's not me. Or not. Am I the first car or the second car? I do this all the time. Oh, I went too far. Now this is 14. See, this parking lot is very confusing. Yep. Alright. So, I've got too many layers on. Hot tea, now I'm hot. Okay, y'all, hang on. I'll put you all on the top for a second. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Take this coat off. I feel like, uh-oh, is that the popo? What y'all doing? I'm gonna put my beanie in.
All right, hang on to your hats and glasses because this here will be the wildest ride in the wilderness. Last one of the day. And we don't have to do it anymore. We'll just stay at studios. I mean, like the car will stay there. Okay. You got shotgun? All right, ooh, hot. Oh, you know why, because it's got... All right, AC, I need AC, now it's hot. To switch fuel rods. There we go. Perfect. If you take a Uber or Lyft, they can drop you off right in the front, by the way, because somebody did ask that today. If, you know, like you don't want to wait or whatever, and if you from your resort, if you take an Uber or Lyft, you can, um, they'll drop you off right up front. And the only place they can't is Magic Kingdom. Only minivans can drop you off in the front. Look at all the parking attendants all bundled up today. Oh, they're wearing shorts. That's not too bad. Look at all that sunshine, you guys. It's so pretty. Currently 64 degrees. The high today is supposed to be 66. So, whoops. Stay in your lane, girl. There we go. works out perfect because the entrance to Hollywood Studios is on Osceola Parkway. It's easier to Uber there at the end of the night than here. So this is a little hour far, far, far out of the way. This is at like the end of Osceola Parkway. like 20 pounds before summer so I love how 
it's like right and then second right. It's the other, other right. Yeah, not this one. It's the other one. Now it's this one. It's not confusing or anything. You just have to really like pay attention to the signage or you'll end up across the bridge in the next county. Crooked. I'll have to fix you when I get done. Cast members are still blacked out till April, so I know a lot of my coworkers are mad. I'm like, just gotta deal with it. We'll go get an annual pass. Just saying. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks. Sorry. Okay. You're good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Have a great day. You too. That was quick. I had my ID ready and everything, and the one time she doesn't want it. <laughs> Usually if I don't have my ID ready, they want like everything. You're supposed to always have your ID with you, like with your pass holder. Speed bumps. Sorry guys, I'll catch up on the chat in a second. I just have to pay attention to the road, so. I promise. I'll catch up. Sefan so said hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Make sure you guys are giving us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you. We are doing a four park one day challenge. Heather's never done it, so that's fun. We'll have a good time. Oh, that's good. We're right by the Skyliner. Word. Um, it, uh -huh. I'm at the end. I'm always at the end. Story of my life. We're like in the next county, y'all. In the next county. Wings. All right. <coughs> Good golly, he's got us walking from here to, like, literally forever. Get a rat. Oh, it's a very yellow car next to Is that Bumblebee? There's all kinds of crazy. All right. I don't want to hit the Camaro. Why is tight parking around here? It's like snug. 
put you guys on top of the car real quick. Oh, goodness, goodness. It's a tight squeeze. And I'm not even a big person. All right. I am. Hang on, let me go grab my stuff. Hang on, we're going. I'm securing my coat in my bag, or on my bag, or next to my bag. Oh, got an idea here. Oh, perfect. Get out. All right. We're a little snug. Did they break their car? All right. Where'd Heather go? y'all we're here I think we're stuck. I don't know, are we stuck? Yep, we're stuck. Refresh, y'all. There we go. Oh, you're at security? Okay. Sorry, I had to refresh because it was stuck. I couldn't read the chat. <clears throat> Maybe not walk on the street. That would be bad. Oh no, Heidi. I'm sorry you're feeling bad. Oh, thank you, Serrano. How's everybody doing? Just refresh, guys. Sorry. It gets stuck. Um, yeah. When we restart... I was giving Streamlabs another go. I know it's looking good right now. I know they did like a massive app app change and all of that stuff, but it does still kick me out. So I was asking how many times it did, but YouTube wasn't working for Peter yesterday. So, or, you know, like, I mean, we have an arsenal of apps to use, but I just want to make sure we're doing good, but it does do that. So that's twice so far. I've been trying to count how many times it does that. So just refresh. I think it it's not as often. I mean, it's the same thing like when you're on YouTube and you get the black circle. It's, I think, when you hit pockets, like stuff like, like bad signal pockets, it does that. Like it, 
gets ornery. I don't know. It's not doing it as often as it used to, which is good. But <clears throat> I'm giving it a second chance since Stream Labs and I break, broke up. <laughs> but I am still paying that $25. So I'm like, well, till it's, you know, already paid for it. I was seeing, I wanted to see if the update, like, would help. Because they're doing, they did, like, a massive change. And you could do multi-streaming from there now, which is really cool. I haven't done that in a long time. All right. We're, like, in the next county. Good Lord. Just refresh, y'all. Okay. As long as you can hear me and see me just fine, just let me know. We're going to get on the Skyliner. What time is our alien swirling saucers? Are we late? <laughs> Probably late. I'm trying to catch up to the... We have fast passes like at Magic and Epcot. I mean, Epcot's not a big deal. It, it's like living with the land, so we should be okay in there, you know? If anything, that one's easy to stand by. <clears throat> Or if Spaceship Earth is short, then we'll just do Spaceship Earth. Like, depends, you know? Good golly, Miss Molly. It's so pretty out, though, my gosh. <clears throat> it's gonna be a glorious ride on the Skyliner today. I may not wanna come off, I just keep riding it till I can't ride no more. Music. I'm no crying at Disney. It's not allowed. It's so nice out, guys. Oh my gosh. This vitamin D. Loving it. It is a happy place. Oh, that's awesome, Heidi. Yeah, just refresh. I didn't realize they had kicked me out. I was driving, you know, trying not to crash. <laughs> you know, trying to keep my eye on the road. So I'll catch up on the chat here in a sec. Hello, hello. If you just joined us, welcome. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Today we're celebrating 10K. So thank you guys so much. It didn't hit till when I woke up this morning, then all of a sudden Scott's like, you're 10K. I was like, oh my gosh, crazy. <clears throat> so I did those earlier posts today. So we get to celebrate it on Super Bowl Sunday. That's super awesome. I'm so excited. <clears throat> yeah, the art is super nice at the uh, Festival of the Arts. It is very nice. Very fun. Coming into the station hard. Break. <laughs> See, you fly in hard. <clears throat> oh, the memories of 2 a.m. I know you guys are getting flashbacks too, right? Flashbacks. Yes, you are. <laughs> mm, smells just so good. That wind, though. That wind is some kind of crazy today. Hey girl! 
Did I put my coat so it fits? It works out that it has the handle so I could put my coat right on it. All that tea was making me hot. All right, I'm gonna cover you up. <laughs> matcha, I'm gonna catch up on the chat. Matcha, matcha man. I wanna be a matcha man. <laughs> Guests without bags. No, that would not be us. But look, it's not like 6 a.m. when there's like a plethora of people here. Oh, yeah. It's not even 7. You gotta be here at the crack of dawn. Oh, sure you're not riding. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How you doing? Oh, good. But if I don't pack the good. coat, you know, I'll be cold later. It's cold yeah. earlier. Yeah, it's gonna be. We're doing gonna four go. parks today, so it was, we were started at Animal Kingdom. Now we're here. Oh. And I drank a hot matcha, then Epcot, then Magic Kingdom. Okay. We're gonna do it all. The grand finale, huh? Yeah. Get your rides. It's a bonus ride. You get to do the Skyliner and the monorail. Oh, I'll take that. One. Put my ID back in there for the. Forgot to put it back in when I parked. It's so pretty today. So much better than it was like yesterday. Yeah. They're like, we don't want to deal with that crazy. Uh, you can? No, I can't. Anyway, I can put the bag over here. Oh, you're good, you're good. I'm done. Hey, no, you. no, you have to go for the metal. Oh, the metal. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so you have a cell phone with you? Yes. Hold it above your head and come to. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's boogie. Where are we at? We're going to the the alien swirling saucers. Is that where we're going? All right, perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Mel. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, should I just go ahead and restart since it keeps dropping? Might well. I might as well. It's annoying me. I know it's annoying you. So let's just do that. Uh, yeah, I can't deal with the shenanigans. So let's do this really quick. We tried it. We tried to give Streamlabs a second chance, but it's not going to happen. So I will be right back. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. I'm going to restart a second stream. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Bye. Cause I don't know if it drops, like it's really crazy. So see, like it's being crazy right now.